Logistically, uh, this film was incredibly complicated. We had a massive amount of equipment that we had to move halfway around the world. Just getting gear in and out of Borneo takes an extraordinary amount of time. Today is the day of our big epic move upriver. Basically, production is replicating Baruti's journey to Camp Leakey 40 years ago, except this time we are bringing 15 boats with us, 15,000 pounds of production equipment. We've got seven trucks here unloading them. We have about 50 people below us who are putting it all together, uh, boat drivers and cooks and porters and the whole production crew. We're gonna be living on the traditional boats for the next 10 days. It's gonna be an amazing journey. I'm really happy to be heading up into Leakey where it all began. It's 9 o'clock in the morning uh, on the Sikonia River, and today is what we call panas, hot. And uh, you just notice the sweat and wet spots on everyone's shirt. It's really hot. Oh, oh, hey, hey. I don't know what those are, but I'm super important. This is a factor we're dealing with now is weather, and almost every afternoon we're dealing with a few hours a washout kind of delay. We've assembled one of the best crews in the world for this kind of film. Because when you see the equipment we're working with, it's way beyond what's done in any other documentary. The most precise elements all have to come together to make these shots work. The movie's primary piece of equipment was a state-of-the-art IMAX 3D film camera, which weighs over 250 pounds. For this particular IMAX film, however, that alone would not be enough. Every project has its range of technical challenges for this film. We did indeed build our first digital 3D camera. We've been able to capture things that you could never get on film. There are scenes that happen in a fast way. You can't do take two. You have to be there and ready. The more versatile IMAX 3D digital camera was able to capture spontaneous animal behavior and was essential during an unexpected event in Kenya. A situation came up while we were here at Salvo where a young elephant was spotted with a herd of bulls. You know, it's obviously an orphan. You know, the bulls wouldn't have taken it from a herd. We were there in the middle of this very crazy rodeo type scene where they had to separate this little tiny elephant from the big bulls. And we got all that footage in IMAX 3D, which is phenomenal. There are no trained animals in this film. You know, these are all animals that have been born wild. They're all animals that are going to be wild. <laughs> We can show up, and we can get all the permits and the visas we need, but we can't make any animal do anything. What we would do is we would just set up, and then sure enough, some elephant would come over, or some large orangutan would come along and would do something really extraordinary. Oh, no. yeah. And the things that we filmed, we never thought we'd film. 